All right, what is up, people? I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get make ELS on a car. Uh, I don't care about that. But we're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up any car. I would maybe we could do like a 2014, no, 2014 Charger. Charger. And pretty much what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's find one. Take that. Out. No, I know which one that works. This one, I don't want that one. You want this one to work. So, once that loads in, there it is. You're gonna throw that right about. You don't have to put it there, but that's what I did. And then you're gonna go up here and you're gonna search the light bars. And once you search up your light bars, you're gonna get a pack. Then you're gonna let that load in. Which you just I'm, right now, I'm just gonna pick a light bar. I don't want this whole thing in here, just because you know I don't really don't feel like it having this in here and in my way. So um, I just pick any light bar. Which I'm probably gonna do this one. Just Control D it so it's duplicated, and then you can just get rid of the rest of this. So once you do that, you're gonna take this and move it off the cart. And you're gonna click here. You're gonna go down. Go into body. And in body, you're gonna press this press sign, you're gonna do model. And then you're gonna go down and find the model and you're gonna rename it. You're gonna rename it capital L light bar. To do that, you're gonna click this, move it up here, fix it to where it matched your car, which it's gonna be too big, so you're gonna use your scale tool to make it fit your car. And then you're gonna line it up along with the door line, because that's how real police cars are. You're going to put that in there, and then there. You don't want to float in the car, so that's how that's going to work. So once you're in there, you're going to click that again. You're going to take it, you're going to drag it down into your light bar, your light bar thing, tab thing. Once you do that, that'll make it move with the car. So then that, you're going to go ahead to the light bar, and you're going to type part. And once you click part, you're going to grab it, Bring it in, bring it up, and then bring it up to where it's on your light bar thing. You're going to go up and make sure it's aligned. Okay, so then you're going to use your scale tool. You're going to scale it with the back of it. Oops. Just like that, just like that. And then you're going to make that sure that fits well. Alright, and once you do that, you're going to extend it out to the bottom just like that and then you can take this and put it like that and then you're going to take this wait how many are I don't know, you see how many are in that oops three all right so we're going to do it about halfway which that'll be about halfway you're going to come you're going to come down you're going to make it neon and you're going to make it precision and then you're going to control d it and move this over to the other side you're going to make it medium blue, which is this one. And once you do that, you're going to take these parts. You're going to name one of them. You can do A, B, C, it's whatever, but I'm going to do A. So you're going to do A1, and then you're going to name this A2. And once you do that, <clears throat> you're going to click these. Make sure they're both, and then you're going to go up here, and you're going to anchor. So it anchors them. And then in the light bar... You're gonna click this and you're gonna click script. And it's gonna bring up this. And then you gotta delete that. You're gonna go main the main the equals script dot parent. While true do wait zero if main the if main the dot on dot value equal equal true then main the dot a1 dot transparency equal one main the dot a2 dot transparency equal zero and you're gonna get in here and you're gonna go wait you can do 0 0.1 I personally I personally would do 0 0.1 but just for your starter if you want something a little faster you can do like 0 0.09 like that. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take this and you're going to copy it. 
you're gonna put it down and you're gonna do that. Then up here, you're gonna take this, you're gonna change that to a one, and then you're gonna change that to a zero. And then you're gonna copy this, you're gonna hit this, and then you're gonna do an else, and then do that, but then this has to be a one. And that's that easy for a script. So now, you have to go into blah, it might be body. No, I think you go into light more. And you're gonna do bool value, and you're gonna re, no, thing. You're gonna rename that on. You're gonna check that. Then you're gonna go into light bar again, and you're gonna do number value. Then you're gonna change that to one. Now, you should be all set. You gotta make sure your lights move with that just so they stay. Then you can scroll down to the bottom, hit lighting, and click on that, do five so it turns dark. So now you just gotta hit run. Our lights should flash if they're not, just like that. And now your lights flash. And that is how you make your lights flash. And let me guys know in the comments if you want a video on how to make a tutorial on how to make the lights turn on and off and with sirens and that. So that's it, and that's how you do it. And then you always that's it, and then you wanna go ahead and once you do that, I don't if you don't want it, I mean you probably will, you wanna save your files. So I'm just gonna do what tutorial charger. But once you do that, and then you can you can either save with the robots on that, and you just delete it. And then there, you're done. So, that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!